Jason, what's been going on with you lately? Oh, nothing much. Just trying to figure out my true love. <gasps> Is it me? I'm everyone's true love? No, Patrick, it's not you. It's actually the narrator. The narrator? What are you talking about? The one who speaks over our lives and controls our every move. I've fallen in love with their voice. That's ridiculous. You can't be in love with a disembodied voice. Yeah, Karen, that's just weird. And pathetic. Shut up, Squillia. You don't understand true love like I do. Oh, come, my dear. How long have you felt this way? Anisk, that damn narrator always gets all the attention. Tell me more about your feelings for me. Well, I just can't get enough of your smooth and commanding voice. It makes me feel so alive. Wow, Karen, this is big news. Have you told anyone else about this? Yeah, Karen, we're your friends. We'll support you no matter what. But how will this work? The narrator isn't even a real person. Ah, but my crabs. I'm, I'm very real to those who believe in me. Oh, great. Now we have to deal with delusional fantasies, too. This is too much. I can't handle it. Looks like Karen's love life is just as pathetic as her regular life. Shut up, Squillia. You're just jealous because you don't have a true love like I do. Oh, Karen. My dear, let's run away together and leave this topic world behind. An Esquire. I'll never be able to compete with that damn narrator. 